morning from a very chilly mill lane in Dale of Wedmore this morning. I hope you're all managing uh, to keep warm, though it, uh, even though it's been very cold the last few days, actually it feels better today. It's not so, uh, it's not so cold this morning. Like I said, welcome to morning prayer. And if you're just settling down with your cup of tea after watching the news or your favourite soap, you're very, very welcome. And if you've got something to say, please uh, put a note in the chat box. That would be really useful. And if there's anything you want me to pray for today or during the week, just please put that as well. And also a big hello to those who will be watching us later. Uh, you're very welcome too to uh, join in this uh, morning prayer. So we'll just have a little bit of silence first and just uh, say good morning to Helen. So we'll just light the candle. Just a quick morning to uh, Venetia, Angie, Justin and Susie. And yes, we are warm. The heating seems to be back on in the Buick household now. Thank you. So let's pray. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundation of the earth. All and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign Lord God, creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory forever. As your living word, eternal in heaven, assume the frailty of our mortal flesh. May the light of your love be born in us, to fill our hearts with joy as we sing. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in this gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Let's now turn to Psalm of the Week, which is Psalm 30, and it should have been on the invitation from Facebook. And we'll be starting at the beginning and reading up through to the end. A song for the dedication of the Temple of David. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lift me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord. You, his faithful people, praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favours last a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. 
Lord, when you favoured me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called to the Lord. I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced, if you go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned away my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. That my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading comes from John, chapter 11, verses 11 to 18. Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realise that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in her Aramaic, Rabbini, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we start our prayers, let us keep silent for a moment and offer our prayers to God for ourselves and for our families, the world around us and all those that the Holy Spirit drops into our hearts at the start of the new day. So Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we think about justice in the world. Eternal Father, you create us in your own image and likeness. But sin has warped the minds of men. And throughout the world there is much injustice and much carelessness of the rights of other people and personal responsibility. Lord, when you, when you are excluded from the hearts and consciences of men, the inevitable result is that people suffer. And Lord, there is much injustice and corruption taking place in our world today, not only in the lives of individuals, but also in the corridors of power and the council rooms of many nations. We pray, Lord, that you will right all the wrongs that are taking place in our world and vindicate those that are being treated unjustly. 
Keep us, Father, from trying to take matters in our own hands for vengeance. Is your, and you will repay. But, Lord, in your grace and mercy, we pray that you would give justice and peace to all those that have been cruelly, unfairly treated by their fellow men. And may the injustice and carelessness that they have had to endure be the means to draw them into your saving arms of grace. We ask this in your precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we uh, continue to pray for the work of the PMC and the work that will be achieved with the Good Neighbour Scheme. And that we need people to be drawn in to help deliver this really great opportunity to help people all across the benefits in whatever small way we can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we think of the local health and the sick, not just in the benefits, but across all of Somerset. Create a God who knit, knits each person together in their mother's womb. It is you who reveal knowledge to scientists and doctors. We thank you for the heritage of medical breakthrough, for the expertise and welfare we enjoy in our nation, freely available to us because of your revelation and the faithfulness of previous generations. Especially at this time, the continuing work on the vaccinations, which will hopefully let our lives get to some back to some sort of normality this year. And renew the thanksgiving in our hearts for what we've received because of others' work and sacrifice. Healer of nations, you provide insight to us all who seek you and defend those in need. We thank you for the gift of health services in our nation. Freely available to everyone, no matter what background, income level or need. And especially the doctors and nurses and health workers across the Cheddar Valley and across the other wide area of Somerset, that they may be sustained by your love. And give wisdom to our government, health professionals and advisors as they seek the right reforms as they look to reform the NHS once again. And bless our health service to thrive, to prosper and to heal. Bless our doctors and nurses to care, to excel and to bring healing. Bless our nation to understand and thank and honour those who seek to bring us health. For everything that is good comes from you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we bring to you, dear Lord, all those who are sick in our parish and, so, and those only known to ourselves. And we also remember those who have passed away, especially thinking of the family of June Yates of St Mary's, whose at funeral is at St Mary's on Tuesday. Give them your love and blessings and sustain them at this time. And remember in our prayers this morning, all those in the benefice, but especially those of Allerton Church this morning. So we think of Helen, Paddy and family, for Lindsay and family, Ian, Sarah, Freddie and Izzy. For Philip, for Ted and Jean, for Gina, Brian, James, Jess and Joe. For Annabel, Andrew, Xavier, Caleb. For John and Tracy. For Anne. For Kate, Tom, Emily, and Tom and family. For Luke, Sarah and family. 
for Sarah, Tim and family. For Sheila, for Angie and John and Doris. For Martin and Amanda and family. We also bring to you, dear Lord, our priest Richard, our curate Sam, and Mike Gelder, our lay reader, and also to for Eddie, that you may sustain them at this difficult time and help us to identify where they need help for us to give help to them, as well as receiving help from them. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Collect of the Day. Almighty God, you've created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, who has called us out of darkness into his marvellous light, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And just blow the candle out. brings us uh, the end of time together just a last few um as people say hello to to suzanne to eddie sue smith for mary and elizabeth and uh apologies if the version of the psalm i read this morning was different from what eddie thought we i was meant to be reading but uh but i think if, if the words were still meant the same so that will just leaves me to uh Say goodbye and check that the heating's still working now. Sam's back tomorrow at the usual time with morning prayer live on Facebook. But for now, have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Just to say, God bless. <laughs>